If I asked you what's heavier, a bowling ball or a basketball, and why, you might say, well, the bowling ball is heavier because it's more dense. There's more atoms in the bowling ball, more protons, neutrons, and electrons. So if I ask, well, what about these protons, neutrons, and electrons? When we get down to the smallest building blocks of the universe, why do they have different masses? Why do they have mass at all? Well, to answer this question, we have to go to the largest particle collider ever built, the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC. This is a 27 kilometer long underground ring that accelerates particles up to extremely high energies and smashes them together. The LHC is the only machine in the world capable of producing a particle called the Higgs boson, which we can detect at particle detectors, such as one called the Atlas detector. Now, in case you don't recall the Higgs boson from that particle physics elective you probably all took back in undergrad, the Higgs field is what gives particles mass. So let's imagine we're all at a concert and there's a bunch of people all spread out and they represent the Higgs field. If you tried to go from one side of the concert to the other, you'd be able to move around people relatively easily without interacting with them. You would represent a massless particle. But if Taylor Swift came out and tried to head to the stage, all of these people would bunch around her, interacting with her, and slowing her down. She represents a very massive particle that has lots of interactions with the Higgs field. Now, so far at particle detectors, such as ATLAS, we've only seen the Higgs boson interact with these very massive Taylor Swift particles. But I'm looking for an interaction with a more medium-sized particle called the muon, more of a nickelback particle. And I'm going to use artificial intelligence to help with this search. You see, if we plot the data collected by Atlas for the search on the left, we see a large red continuous background. We're looking for a very small bump in all this data, which is way too small for us to see. So I'm going to take this large data set and use artificial intelligence to split it up into smaller categories seen on the right, some of which will hopefully have much more noticeable blue Higgs signal peaks we're looking for. By analyzing these smaller categories chosen by artificial intelligence, we're much more likely to see evidence of the Higgs boson. If we do see this Higgs boson interacting with the muon, this would be a huge step in the world of particle physics and understanding how particles obtain mass. This would be a Higgs interaction on a much smaller scale than anything we've seen so far, which makes it extremely challenging but with advancements in artificial intelligence, it just might be possible. Thank you.